Hey guys, it's Tom Shu, and today we're going to be doing a Capture One tutorial. And in this particular tutorial, we're going to do external editors. That's right, you know when you're in Lightroom and you're working with an image and you want to finish it up in Photoshop, there's a shortcut Control E or Command E that will hand it off where you can right click and say Edit In. Well, Capture One allows you to work in external editors too, they just do it a little differently. So after you get all of your adjustments made to your image, you go to File, Export, and you can do originals or the variants. So, so if you create multiple looks of an image, you can create uh, export a variant. And there's naming format. So first of all, you want to choose the folder where you want to send it. Okay. So you just drop down here and you can choose your folder. I created a folder on one of my hard drives called C1 Export Folder. Okay. It also tells you how much space is left on the hard drive. And then there's naming conventions. Okay. So you can change how these namings are. So we're going to do format and the job name and we're not going to do a job name actually, but you can save presets for how you want things named. Because when you export these, it's going to be a whole separate file. It's not like it's going to be in a Lightroom catalog, okay? It's going to be in another folder, and it will be whatever file site, file type you determine it's going to be. So I don't have a job name. Uh, we're just going to do the name as export test, and I'll call this two, okay? And down here under export recipe there's a whole bunch of stuff you can add adjustments like disable the sharpening you can control how much information the metadata is you can uh, strip it away you can choose where it's going to go the root folder I'm going to put it in this and I can put it in a name it again and put it in a subfolder so I can stay within my export folder and add different folders but here's where you determine exactly what's going to be sent out so you choose the file format here. We're going to go, in this case, PSD, which is a lossless format. So it keeps all of my layers intact Okay, when I save it. We're going to be working with a 16-bit file. Okay, And we can choose the profile. In this case, it's going to be sRGB. But you can choose whatever you want. So you can do paper profiles, or you can do like Adobe 1998, or it's any kind of color profile you want we're just doing srgb and then the resolution we're going to be doing a 300 dpi and we're not going to scale it in any way it's just going to be fixed you can choose how you want it to be i can do it by the long edge or the sh the height or length and height or short edge i can do whatever i want but this case we're going to be doing it as fixed and we're going to be at 100 percent. so if i want it to be 50 percent the size i could do that and then it says what am i going to open it with I'm going to open it with Photoshop in this case, okay? And we're going to just click export, okay? When you do that, it's going to give you this little activity log, kind of like an export dialog. And we're going to wait for Photoshop to open. Okay, so it's launched the Photoshop uh, dialog or the uh, splash screen for you. And it will open the file. So there's the file, it's opened, and now we can make any changes we want to it. So say if we want to add a curves layer, maybe darken this down a little bit and bring our highlights. Maybe let's do this way. There we go, pull the highlights down just a hair, okay? So now we can just hit File, Save. Okay, we're going to maximize the compatibility so it will open previous versions of Photoshop, and then it will save the file. So basically, that folder that you created inside Capture One will save your PSD with all of your layer information. So that's it. It's that easy. It's pretty intuitive to uh, export files from Capture One and work with them in Photoshop. You get a lot of uh, extra uh, features that you don't have in some other applications like Lightroom. But it is a little bit more work because you're doing your own file structure. In Lightroom, if you click Save here, it just sends that PSD back to your catalog. You don't have to keep track of anything because it's all right there inside Lightroom. With Capture One, it is a, a standalone editor that you create your own file system. So that's it. I want to thank you all for taking time to visit today. Until next time, we'll see you soon.